Hello and welcome to this sort of unexpected video. I did not think, not even once, that the Aimleon Door New Balance P550 would actually restock. And second, that I would actually land the pair for retail. And it just feels so crazy. And hey, I am not complaining for getting the W for landing a pair. It just feels really overwhelming and surreal that I was able to get one in the colorway that I re really wanted. And Truth be told, I've always wanted a pair since it originally came out in 2020, but there was just no chance that I'm buying one from the resale market because the price is just going upwards to $8,000 and that is just crazy. And I love the silhouette so much that I even went as far as buying a bootleg, which is the AMAC 405 from AMAC Customs, which I also did a video about if you haven't checked that out already. But before I actually go dive in deeper and talk about my thoughts on this pair. Let's dive into the brief history of the New Balance P550. The New Balance 550 was originally released in 1989 under the P550 model name. This was a low top silhouette with leather uppers that was made as a basketball shoe. Although beloved by fashion enthusiasts, the shoe was not received well by the masses as much as a basketball footwear, especially when compared to other basketball sneakers on the market at the time. Fast forward to 31 years later, Teddy Sanis, founder and designer of Emilion Door, reintroduced the New Balance P550 and made a major comeback in four two-tone colorways in red, green, navy blue, and gray all with yellowed midsoles for an aged look. The silhouette was a major success that New Balance started releasing different colorways of the 550 in January of 2021. Fast forward to fall 2021, Aim Leondor offered a second chance to people like myself and restocked all but the red colorway of the P550. Aim Leondor has definitely resurrected the silhouette from the dead. And not just that. In my opinion, this collaboration has made the New Balance brand surge to new heights that it has never before and made compelling collaborations to renowned brands in the likes of Aim Leondor, of course, Stussy, and Jound, just to name a few. This bold move from the New Balance brand has made the brand draw more attention to sneaker and fashion enthusiasts alike and allowed it to compete with Nike, Adidas, and even designer brands like Dior and Louis Vuitton. I also want to point out that the move that Aim Leondor did on the restock on this, which was a raffle system, gave a fair chance to everybody who really wanted the shoe like myself because it's hardly even possible to, you know, buy shoes online on a first-come, first-served basis competing with all the bots. It's just impossible. Also, I put in a raffle for the green colorway of this Aim Leondor P550, but lost. But you know what? I'm fine with this and nevertheless contented with this one since, like I said earlier, this is the colorway that I really wanted the most. Comparing the bootleg and the original pair side by side, honestly, there's not a whole lot different between the two, aside from the logos and placements of leather and rubber perforations and stitches. Also, the leather on the original pair seems a lot softer. And honestly, I am actually content with having the bootlegs not until I had been given the chance to buy this pair for retail. So, this shoe is definitely a classic and definitely the sneaker of the year for me and will probably be my most favorite among all the shoes I own. The neutral colorway on the shoe makes it an all-around shoe that complements any outfit. Here are some on-feet looks paired with some of my favorite pants. some outfits I put together with the 550s.
definitely happy with this purchase. I don't know if I have stressed that enough in this video but I am. Also I am eyeing to get the green one but we'll see. But if anything, I really think being patient really pays off. As with any shoe that I want, I always wait it out especially if the shoe has a high resale price. It's either I wait for a restock to come along to get the pair for retail or buy used from eBay or Grailed or someone. And mostly the shoes that I buy are in used condition because my philosophy is if I'm gonna be using the shoes anyway and won't be selling it, then might as well buy it used. And I have done this many times and, you know, got a lot of bargains and deals and definitely saved a lot of money. Anyway, enough of all this shoe philosophies. Do whatever works for you. And let me know what your thoughts are on these Aimleon Door New Balance P550 pairs. Will you buy it or you're fine with the regular New Balance 550s? Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this video as much as I did. And until next time, stay safe, stay fitted, peace. Thank you.